Alrighty, let's do another stoichiometry problem. So here we go. This particular problem involves calcium, Ca, reacting with nitrogen gas. So Ca plus N2. Right? Naturally occurring diatomic, therefore it's N2. When we put these together, we get Ca and N. Now, Calcium charge is plus 2, nitrogen is minus 3. Therefore, it's Ca3N2. Because your charges have to cancel. So 3 positive 2 is positive 2, positive 2, positive 2 is positive 6. Negative 3, negative 3 is negative 6. They cancel the charges. Then I usually do this just to get rid of them. All right? So then we end up with that equation, and now we got to make sure it's balanced. Well, I see three calciums here and only one over here, so I put a three right there. It gives me three C eight. Two n two or two n's, two n's. Balanced chemical equation. So you are told in the problem that we have fifty point zero grams of this, three significant figures, and furthermore, you have fifty grams of this. Again, three significant figures. And it wants to know, how many grams of that can you make? So this is, more like, uh, this is more like the problems we've been doing over and over and over in class. So the first thing we got to do, limiting reagent, right? So 50.0 grams of calcium. You divide that by the molar mass of calcium, which is 40.08, and you get a number which is 1.25. Now, you have to account the fact there's three of these for every one of these. So therefore, you divide that number by a three. And you get 0.417. Now we gotta make sure that it might not, it might be the nitrogen. So 50 grams of nitrogen, it's N2. Therefore, this is two times 14.01, right? Which would be 28.02. You do the math on that, you get 1.78. Now, 1.78, you don't have to divide it by anything, because there is like a 1 here, but it's redundant, right? We can divide it by 1, we'd still have 1.78. When we look at these two numbers, 0.417 and 1.78, the limiting reagent is established is that one right there. So, this is everything then, and this is grams of CA. Because every calculation is going to start with that 50 grams of calcium. Every single one. Living reagent, excess reagent, everything. So, here we go. We're going to calculate this. We start with 50.0 grams of calcium every single time. We turn that into moles. 40.08 grams of calcium in one mole of calcium. Which brings us to our most important step. We want to compare moles of calcium to moles of what we want to know. The reason we had to make the calcium was so that we could cancel here and here, right? Grams cancel grams here. We want to know Ca3N2. So that goes on the top. And it always will go on the top. So that's right there. Okay? When we look at our balanced chemical equation, we know that there are three Ca's for every one of this. So there's one of that. One came from right there, the three came from right here. Then, what we do is in one mole, because I asked you for this in grams, if I asked you for it in moles, like I did on that previous example, then you could have stopped right here, because you'd have moles of Ca3N2, but I asked you for grams. Well, in one mole of Ca3N2, there is a certain number of grams of in Ca3N2. You take 40.08 times three, 14.01 times 2, and you put it right here. So when you do the math on that, which I've already done, the answer is 148.26. Moles cancels moles here, leaving us grams, Ca3N2, or calcium nitride. You look up, make sure that's what you wanted to know, awesome. You do the math, you multiply across the top, you multiply across the bottom, you divide those two numbers. You started with three significant figures right here, right? So therefore, your final answer is 61.7 grams Ca3N2. Done. Turn this.
is off. <laughs>